So we've pulled up at a services and the guy in the petrol station says that we're allowed to go over there and use the tap that's outside to fill this beast up. Last time we didn't have much success filling her up. There were spillages all over the place, <laughs> but hopefully this time it's going to go more smoothly. It will. It will. It will. Positive affirmations. Say it louder, Adam. We will. We will. Fill up the water smoothly. <laughs> 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 I reckon it's got that to be one. this one. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, that's what we needed to do before. Look at that. Oh, we're getting good at this. <laughs> we are official motor homies. Yeah. Feed her in the hole. She's on. She's not leaking either. Got you. Is it working? It's working. And no spillages. <laughs> Have you ever seen a couple of motor homers as sophisticated and efficient as us? How do we know when she's full? Well, she's going to start spurting out the fire. Oh, brilliant. Although the guy said, don't fill it all the way because it will just we'll add wait weight carry, and we don't yeah. want to wait. Wait, wait. No. All right, where are we? All right, it says 25%, Becky. 75. Would you look at that? Now you just need to drain the snake. Oh. There you go, there you go. She's coming out. Oh. Job done. Professional motorhomers. Teamwork. Oh. According to the navigational system, we are 40 seconds away. It's been an interesting drive. There's been a lot of small windy roads. I found out this van or this motorhome has an eco mode when you drive. <laughs> I've put it in it to save fuel and it makes it real slow. Not that that's an issue. There's a motorhome there already. There's a nice camper. There is a nice camper. And there's an Audi. Oh, look at the views. So if you didn't just hear the sat nav, we are at the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Oh. There's a lot of potholes in this car park. Famous potholes, but it's really nice and level though, isn't it? Yeah, this is perfect. Right, let's just remember not to drive over the back down the ditch. God, look at that for a view. Right, we're secure, nice and level. Exquisite park up, check. Novelty slippers. Check. Oh, Becky. Check. <laughs> it's time to introduce today's video sponsor, Athletic Greens, or more specifically their product, AG1. So AG1 is a nutritional drink with 75 ingredients in it, and every single one of these ingredients is going to help your body. It's gonna support your immune system. It's gonna help your energy levels and give you more endurance. It also supports your general gut health and your mental health as well, because it's gonna get your brain working efficiently. It's an all-in-one solution. So for people like me, I just know now that I'm gonna be getting everything that I need in one scoop every morning. Now I'm someone that struggles usually with my health and my nutrition anyway. As you probably know by watching my videos, I don't eat the healthiest food and it doesn't help that I'm really fussy with food. So I know that I'm not getting all the nutrition that I need in general, but since I've been having this, I have felt more alive and it's definitely something that I'm gonna continue with. And not only would I recommend getting a subscription for it, if you click on my link that's down in the description, you're gonna get free vitamin D3 and K2 and you're gonna get five free travel packs as well. Okay, I'm blasting out some heat in here. I'm putting my money on the fact we're gonna run out of gas today. We've been off grid for four days now. But we got... More gas. More gas. <laughs> Do you think we should try and get through this entire week without going on grid once. Yeah, off grid, off grid. <laughs> the only thing we can't do when we're off grid is use the plug sockets and we can't use the microwave, but I'm gonna get on and do a little bit of work for a while and then we're gonna cook up some dinner with the microwave because I am a genius. Becky. Yours? The hunger is real. Okay, here's the plan. I am going to take the EcoFlow outside. I'm going to plug her into the motorhome, or rather, I'm going to plug the motorhome into her, and we're going to use the EcoFlow as our grid. It must be this one. Because it's well warm in that garage. That's where I'm sleeping later. After you. The Delta II is on 68%, so we'll turn on the AC. So now the motorhome should be charging. <gasps> <gasps> so the microwave is on. Yes! 
Oh, uh, what? It's taking 370 watts to charge the motorhome. <laughs> How can we stop the motorhome from charging? I think we should just hurry up and cook a food. Two micro pizzas, they're Philly cheesesteak versions, and these dirty fries. Well, they're clean, but they're going to be dirty. Pop them in. It's working. <laughs> right, what's happening to the EcoFlow output? 1.68 kilowatts. They got going for seven, seven minutes. So seven plus four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is exciting. This is even more exciting than the Olympics. Sixty-four percent already. <laughs> Feels like one of them Top Gear races. It's a <laughs> race know. against time. Oh, are you ready? She's ready. Bring her out. Quick, quick chips. chips. Put them in. Put yes. them in. <sighs> We're down to 50% on the EcoFlow. One minute to go, and the EcoFlow is down to 15%. I think we're gonna pull this off. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, my nerves are feeling wracked. 10% to go, and she's off. Right, Becky, you dish her up. I'm gonna rescue the EcoFlow. Okay, run. You beauty, I knew you wouldn't let me down. Microwave pizza. And dirty fries. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Let's tuck in. What the hell is that? Olives. Ah, do you know what an olive is? It's just a grape without a soul. Work of the devil, those things. They're grown in Satan's garden next to the mushrooms. Well, Victoria, mission success. Cheers. Ugh, not with that thing, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> what am I sitting on there? <laughs> It's a pom! Pom! <laughs> oh. Pom gone! Pom? Pom where? Birdy <laughs> pom dead hair! So we're both sitting here having a chat in bed doing some work. we got our laptops out. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm freezing cold. So anyway, I've gone up to the boiler thinking, ah, oh, we blatantly run out of gas because I thought we were going to today anyway. And it has an error on the screen. According to my telephonio, in this quick video, everyone, let's talk about the true error code. Right, so in other words, we've run out of gas. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Well, yep. it's not a good thing. It's better to have run out now than in the middle of the night. Yep. And we know how long it's lasted now. How long? Well, since we got the motor home. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Forget the gas issue. <laughs> <laughs> We have <laughs> organic oh. homemade Batty B! <laughs> I just hit my head on my apple. <laughs> that pom is causing so much trouble. Break out the Batty B. Oh, bring it over. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Right, I want you to do a heavenly angel noise now. It's got to be the, the heaveliest. <coughs> <laughs> that is not a heavenly angel noise. I was clearing noise. my throat. <laughs> it's not just any Batty B. This is a Bryson's Batty B. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's be serious for a minute. This is one of God's greatest gifts to humankind, right? Yes. Yeah. If we're going to enjoy this Batty B, we want to be warm and comfortable. Yes, we so do. So we're going to have to be sensible for once in our lives and fix the gas. <laughs> you throw it at me. <laughs> it's raining. It's mildly moist. It's so moist. Right, it's in here. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? I don't know. It did. I've done it. I've done it. Anti-clockwise to tighten it. Right. That's as tight as we're gonna get it. Let me stick this snout in here, see if we can smell any gas. We know the gas is working now. The fridge is back on and obviously that's working. But as you can see, we still got the error. We've reset the error code a few times and it's still coming back every time. And according to the trusty internet, there might be a button on the boiler itself that we have to reset. Okay. I yeah, it's under here. It is, that's where we hear it ticking from. So, yeah, it is in there. That is the boiler. Right, this panel's got screws all around it. It looks like the side of it where the switches are. But I can't see the switches. I've got an idea. What we're going to do is make a video of inside there. Oh, that's the panel. Let's see if we can spot any evidence of flashing lights on this video. <gasps> is that a flashing light? Red. That's what you said on the video. Yeah. So it needs resetting. I think you said you have to hold it until it flashes orange. Obviously, we're not going to be able to see what it's doing. So I'm just going to have to hold it for... Three seconds. 
Three seconds, let go. <laughs> Wait, okay, I got the button. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to push it in now. Two, three. Something's still flashing. Okay, I'm going to go in again. And this time I'm going to have to hold it for much longer than three seconds. What do you reckon? Ten? Eight. eight nine. nine ten. ten. It's flashing slower. It's doing a different type of flash. Maybe I pushed it for too long. Yeah, so that's Should we try all different times? Yeah. Maybe I'll do like a... Let's do... Six, four, five, six. six. Oh! oh I made a noise! It did make a noise. The heat is on! <laughs> oh, hey! You ruddy genius! <laughs> oh! <laughs> my digital reverse periscope has done its thing. High five! High five! <laughs> Crank it up, yeah. make it 50 degrees in here. I always look shorter than you when we sit down, because I always sit like this. That's why you should elongate that spine. Okay, I'm elongated. Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> I feel like a giraffe. Yes. What's that thing up there? I think that's the tracker. I reckon that's the awning light. No, because there's another one and it says uh, fuel, and it's in that cupboard, and I think fuel are the make of trackers. I might be wrong. Probably. Actually, no, you're very clever. Oh, I'm very clever. Rather, quite. I once did an IQ test, you know. Yes? That makes me clever. <laughs> right, come on. Thirty three. Thirty three. I can't wait any longer. Get the knife in there. Shh. This is a sacred time. Okay. Oh, smell. And what you got to do, should I go like this? Wow. The batty bee of all batty bees. Okay, I think straight down the middle and have half each. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm! <laughs> 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 it's fuck! <laughs> it's got hot my nose! <laughs> I don't even bother! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> I've never inhaled cake as good as that! <laughs> That is the one. The one. Hold <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> me. Hold me. <laughs> mm. oh, they'll definitely sponsor us now. <laughs> oh, Becky. Ada. Why? Uh. Why must it forsake us? Why? Uh, I've got to turn the camera off. It's been recording for half an hour. <laughs> the time has come once again for the most glorious, the glorious, <laughs> the gloriousest of gloriousnesses. Oh, I can hear the pumps are coming on. Oh, she's getting hot. Ah, she bit me. She is scorching. Scouching. Right, enough chin wagging. I'm gonna get in the shower. That dog shampoo is the one. I recommend it highly. It smells so good. But I'm not gonna do my usual nighttime scene with a projector out and all that, because Becky is either asleep or half asleep. So I'm gonna get some sleep myself and then I'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning people. This has to be up there with one of the top three spots 
that I've ever woken up at. I looked out the window this morning, I saw an actual nature running through the grass. I don't know what it was, just like a small four-legged nature. It's nice and quiet and at the moment the weather is being good. The clouds are coming down over the mountains, it looks really nice, but I just hope the rain holds off for the afternoon. Hello, good morning. What are you doing? Just some work. I can see a mountain, Victoria. I don't usually see that at my house. Neither. What are we eating for breakfast? Porridge. Porridge. And a double chocolate mocha. A mocha. That is the magic word, mocha, in the morning. That's a mighty fine stirring you're doing there, young Toria. Why, thank you, mighty fine Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing when I'm filming. <laughs> thank you, Victoria. No worries. Porridge, porridge. What is this? Fuel. Come on, we need a bit of fuel. Becky! Becky! There's a horse! Quick, go, go, go. Oh, there's a human over there as well. We bought him an apple. Oh, they are, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's a good idea. Isn't it beautiful, eh? Look, an apple. <laughs> so pretty. The soft nose. Do you know anywhere around here, excuse me, Andrew, Andrew, do you know anywhere around here that sells pancakes with chocolate sauce and whipped cream in one? Ooh! Ooh. 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 Right, where were we? I'm going to wash my hands though. You probably should too. Uh, why? You've just been rubbing up and down a wild horse. No, I'd lick it, I don't care. I'd lick a horse right on the back. Right on the back. Novelty slippers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Becky. That's okay. <laughs> this is service and a half. I've got a feeling that the weather is going to pick up. I can already feel a slight mm -hmm. spray on my face. We basically want to find there's a rock down there. God, it's windy. It's one of the best looking rocks I've ever seen. Right, Becky, from your professional walking experience. Yes. I mean, you have been walking all your life. I have. Minus one year, I imagine. Yeah. And as you popped out on two legs. Is that a sweet? It's a, it's a mint humbug. Oh, no, it's not. It's a chocolate lime. No, it's a, it's, yeah, but anyway. Do we take the designated path no. around that way? Or do we go straight through the middle down the hill? Straight through the middle down the hill. Onwards! I mean, this is a nice rock, don't get me wrong, but this is not the rock. Not the rock. Oh, we've done it again, Becky. We have become naturers. Naturers. For the second time on this trip. Here it is. Well, we've made it, Becky. Oh. Lick the rock. Yeah, that's the rock of choice. Yeah, the humble tank is at the top of the hill. What's over here? I can hear water. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to get down to that water, Becky. I can see a waterfall. I think we're going to take advantage of this weather before it gets too bad. The camera's getting a bit wet as well, so I've got to put that away. So we're going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description below. And thank you so much to Oak Tree Motorhomes for giving us this amazing opportunity. That honestly, I can't thank them enough. In every video, I'm going to say it because that company, <laughs> not just because they've given us the motorhome, home, but they are such a good company. Won awards, praised by everyone. Exceptional customer service, and they'll just look after you from day one. We still got the motorhome home for another couple of days, so I'm sure there will be at least one more video. So stay tuned for that. Thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>